In this video we're going to look at a situation where we know how much we can afford to pay each month so therefore what size of a loan can we get okay so for example this example for here affording a home you find that the going rate for a home mortgage with a term of 20 years is 5.5 percent APR the lending agency says that based on your income your monthly payment can be at most eight hundred and fifty dollars how much can you borrow in other words how expensive of a house can you afford to buy right so we're going to use this formula here which is the amount borrowed equals monthly payment times this over this and it's the if you look it's it's like the exact reverse of the previous formula where we had the amount we wanted to borrow and we were going to calculate monthly payments okay so here we have the monthly payment we're going to calculate the amount of money that um, we borrowed or that we can borrow so the amount we can borrow equals the monthly payment 850 okay and now we have to figure out what is the monthly interest rate R so can you figure out that the annual percentage rate is 5.5 percent the monthly interest rate 0 0.055 divided by 12 which is what Zero point zero five five divided by twelve. Zero point zero zero four five eight three 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 two three three. Okay, so I guess um, because R is um, you know put to an exponent uh, and everything, and divided by. I mean, the more digits you use, the better, really. Uh, when you're calculating R. So here I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 digits for R, right? So R equals that. What's 1 plus R? And what's T for this example? What's 1 plus R and what's T? One plus R is 1.0048 four five eight sorry four five eight three 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 and T equals what? It's going to be a 20 year mortgage so it'll be 20 times 12 which is 240, right? So we take our monthly payment and we multiply it by 1 plus R 1.00458 three 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 to the power of t to the power of two hundred and forty minus one all over r zero point zero zero four five eight three 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 times one point zero zero four five eight three 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 to the power of two hundred and forty because it's 1 plus r to the power of t minus 1 over r times 1 plus r to the power of t. Okay. So then we can calculate the top and the bottom and divide and try and get the most accurate answer possible. So if we were to do that, and where's my little calculator? Okay, so anyway, we will. If if you have a basic calculator, it's one point zero zero four five eight three 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 to the power of two hundred and forty, and you get this number two point nine nine nine. Then you've got to subtract one. So you're working inside the parentheses. You're doing you're following the order of operations, PEMDAS, and so you go inside the parentheses. You do your exponent first, and then you subtract one and then multiply by 850 and so that is 1697.12 I'll just write all down 9699 
and on the bottom zero. So calculating the bottom of the fraction we've got uh, r times 1 plus r to the power of t so we're going to do this one first because it has an exponent in it so 1.004 Five eight three 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 to the power of two hundred and forty. Press enter, and then that answer times this number, zero point zero zero four five eight three three three, and we should get zero point zero. Start again. Zero point zero one three seven. Three four five one three, and then divide these numbers. Now, um, so let's go ahead and do one six nine seven point one two nine six nine nine divided by the previous answer, which is the bottom number. So divided by ans the answer. Enter. And in any case, however you do it in your calculator, you should end up with one, two, three, five, six, six, um, and and for this calculation, I've got point seven nine two. Now you might be even more accurate than that, but um, if we round to the nearest dollar, round to the nearest dollar, hopefully we'll all have one, two, three. Five six seven, okay, hundred twenty three thousand five hundred sixty seven uh, dollars is what you can the amount you can borrow if you can afford eight hundred and fifty a month for twenty years, okay. And of course, um, another way to do this um, calculation is to. Um, keep your R, if you want to do it even more accurately, your R can be kept at 0 0.055 over 12. Okay, so you could have done 850 times 1 plus 0 0.055 over 12 to the power of um, 240. But you need another parentheses here, of course, and then subtract 1. Okay. So that would be your top, and then on the bottom, um, 0 0.055 over 12 uh, times 1 plus 0 0.055 over 12 to the power of 240. So calculating this way would be even more accurate. And if you want to put the entire thing into a calculator, just make sure you put parentheses around the bottom. You can put parentheses around the top as well if you like, but most importantly, parentheses around the bottom. Okay. It, it, well, parentheses around the bottom is all you need, but some students just like to do top and bottom just just to keep keep it uh, together, so that the calculator calculates the top, then calculates the bottom, and then lastly divides. Okay. Okay, so um, here's a question. How much total interest will you pay over the term of the loan? How much total interest will you pay over the term of the loan? Are you going to pay 123567 Is that the amount of money you're going to pay? That's the amount you can afford to borrow at 850 a month but it's not the amount you're going to pay right what is the amount you're going to pay the total amount the total amount to pay is in fact um, 850 times how many months you're going to be paying 850? How many months? Two years. No, 20 years, right? 20 years, so that's 240 months. So 850 times 240, right? You're going to pay 204000. 
204,000. That's the total amount you're going to pay to get this amount of money, which is Okay, so how much total interest are you going to pay altogether? So you're paying 204,000 to get this amount of money. So how much interest is that, right? Take 125 23, sorry. 5, 6, 7, and subtract that. So, 80,000 433 dollars, right? Is the total interest. Isn't that interesting? Sheesh, when I look at that, it looks very close to the amount of money we're going to borrow. I mean, it's 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 uh it's quite interesting. What percentage is the interest out of um the the um cost of the house basically is is one question and what percent interest are you paying out of the the whole uh loan is a, is another question i guess but um yeah i mean it's it's that's kind of an interesting number isn't it okay <laughs>